We'll win, baby. Let's go. We're going to have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to, we'll do this a little bit differently. Um, I'm going to throw things against walls. Not many people do that. Uh, this is for the Aegis X. That's what this video is about. And it, it looks something a little bit like this. Now, I, I've done plenty of videos quite recently for the Aegis. Uh, we had the the Legend and, and you've got the Mini. There, there's the Squonker. They just go on and on and on. There's so many of them and never hidden the fact that I really like them. Uh, so, so what's the difference this time? We've got a new board, it's the AS200. Is it the 200 or the 20? Can't remember. It'll say down here. Uh, and really the main difference is it's supposed to be faster response time. Uh, that That's the real thing. And just pushing the fire button here. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's fast enough for me, put it like that. And I'm only at 50 watts just now on a 0 0.3 coil. Uh, the main thing about this one is that it comes with this big behemoth of a screen. Uh, it, it is just massive. And for old farts like me that, that, that have to wear glasses now, uh, it's a godsend. It really is a godsend. Uh, we're, we're going to go down for close-ups and I'll show you this. But the main thing is that it's an Aegis. It's like all the other ones. It's there's. It really is. It's like all the other ones. It's IP67 rated. You're supposed to be able to throw it about, drop it in a bucket of water, shockproof, dustproof, all that kind of stuff. That's that's the same. The the main difference is is this big screen that we've got. Uh, now the one thing that was key in my head was that this is supposed to be a hardy mod. Why the hell would you put a big big screen in it because it'll just break. So, a little while ago, I went outside. Yes, I know the wall needs painted. Oh, oh hello. You, no, I'm not throwing the ball. I can throw this for you though. Uh, right, let's see how we get on with this. Um, oops. <laughs> look, look, you would have fetched it. I could throw this for you. Right. Tick, 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 tick. Oops, again. Uh, right. Let's give it a good one. Right. This is, this is... Oh, God, this really goes against the green, this. I really don't like doing this. Right, that's it. That's all the damage I'm giving it. That was fun. Um, yeah, I could, should start doing that more often. That'd be really good. Bounce and stab wood mods off a wall. Uh, no, that look, it's still going and... You want to see how much damage there is? That, that was some serious knocks that this thing took. And, and you can see here that just going round on this side, there's nothing. There was a little bung in here, same as this side here. That did actually, that was, it wasn't right out, but it was just, there was an edge, so I, I just popped it right out. But uh, yeah, we're still waterproof in there. So yeah, that's looking okay. Across the top, we have some chipping round here. Uh, no other damage on the base. Yeah, we've got a couple of little marks going on here. And on the screen, you can see that uh, it did take some scratches along here, but it's still, there's absolutely, it works great, nothing wrong with it, and it's perfectly usable, and working in a vape shop for three years, I've seen people come back with mods in worse condition like this after a day, uh, so quite impressed. Now the height of this thing, it's about 128.9 millimetres in height. Uh, you're looking about 41 across here and across the top it's 31.5 and you can see where the 510 actually sits in there. We have a USB port. I do like the fact they've got this little plastic bit doodah on here now. Uh, also this is, and I'll just pull this out, excuse me while I try and grab this. So you can see you've got your USB in there and this is 2 amp charging for this one. And should point out that you can do firmware upgrades from here as well. It's always worth pointing out that even though you can do 2 amp charging in here, uh, it's always recommended that uh, you do charge via an external battery charger. 
I've no issues with the 510, it's spring loaded, uh, nothing, you know, it's not like there's a, I think it was with the squonker, uh, you know, there was a rubber ring in here, so the atties were sitting proud, this thing, you know, atties are sitting flush onto the 510. The other thing I will point out is the weight. Without batteries, this is 178 grams. Uh, now, the, I'm pretty sure from memory, the, the other, the normal Aegis uh, with the smaller screen in the front, it was a lot heavier. It was something like 230 grams. Uh, so it's, without batteries in it, it's definitely not as heavy as the previous Aegis's. Aegis's, is that right? We do have in the front, you can see that we've got this, see how you got that cut out there? It's quite smart. Uh, we've got our up and down buttons and our fire buttons, no issues with that. And Aegis across here, a metal faceplate, and we've got, you know, everything's all rubber coated everywhere else. And we do have this half leather or fake leather sleeve here. Now, once again, this is a 200 watt mod, uh, but uh, we have ventilation down here and it's dual 18650. Uh, I will say the door in this one, uh, I do prefer. Uh, I can just pull that back and you see it opens. Take out my old scabby batteries. And if I just pop this down, uh, I have had issues with the Aegis doors in the past, but this one, if I just pop it down, it just clicks into place. It's uh, the best one I've seen on an Aegis yet. I will also say it's clearly marked down the bottom there, positive and negative, and which way the batteries go. I've switched to the undamaged one, uh, just so you can see there are other colour schemes available and just we're going to have a, a quick run through the menu system but once again, one, two, three, four, five and that's us, we're loading up. Button combinations, the ones you want to know, so five clicks on off. Uh, three clicks takes you into uh, a menu system, then we'll get to that in a second, uh, but you can hold down all three buttons and that puts you into stealth mode. You can still fire the device, but the screen is asleep. Hold them all down again, and the screen should come back up. Uh, if you hold the, the firing button and the plus and the minus, or sorry, the firing button and the plus or the minus, uh, you can then adjust the brightness on the device. And once again, this screen, this is the best age of screen ever. Uh, it really is nice and bright and that applies outdoors as well. Uh, you do have, what else can we do? We can lock the wattage in. So uh, I can just take the plus and minus here, push the both of them together and I have to put my phone in silent and that locks in the, you can see there it's locked. Hold down the plus and minus again and that's as unlocked. Something I will say about the buttons is that because of the way they're shaped, it's really easy to, if you want to hold down two buttons at the same time, you can just literally get your fat finger or fat thumb and just wedge it in between the two. Uh, the buttons on this thing are, it's actually done very, very well. Now, if you want to go through the menu system here, uh, so we'll just get that, we do three clicks, one, two, three, and you should see that this is now white. Uh, if I push the firing button again, you can see that the font, see how everything's changing to white there as I keep pushing the firing, so M1, just pushing the firing button now, so that's three clicks, lets me move through and make changes. So we'll get back up to M1, and you can see if I keep going, we actually have four profiles. So you can, in each profile, you can set up, say, profile one, you could have bypass, you could have the, the curve setting in profile two, you know, you can have four different ones, and it just means that it's easy to go through different setups for different atomizers that you may have. Now, if I push the fire button here, you can see I'm in power and then I can go through temp control and we have all these various options. You know, you've got temp control, stainless, stainless steel, you have bypass, you have a power curve setting. It's got, it's all in there. I will say the power curve one, uh, if we go into that. So, and hopefully I'm just gonna have to keep pushing the fire button here, but you have six banks. And basically what you do is you can, you can see I've got the time highlighted there. That's me changing the length of time for each bar. So right now I have six periods or six instances of this time frame here. Uh, now, if I keep pushing the fire button, that'll take me down to coil. If I go down to what, then you can see that I can then start adjusting each slot, fire button, moves on to the next. So I can create a power curve. I'm just gonna hold my finger down in the fire button here. That will lock it into place. And that's it, we've got a power curve. 
Other things we can do here is one, two, three. We'll just get into the menu again. You can see that's white. Hold down the plus and minus again. And it's going to take us into more options here. The ones that you're probably most interested in are you can change the theme. We have three themes to choose from. We'll just go with that. We have color. I think there's about five different colors we can choose from. Like that. Uh, we have a version that's going to be your firmware. We have ABB. Uh, th th this is quite a clever one. Basically, it means that um, you can, if you, and if we go back to the, the main board here, you can see we have our battery level. Now, let's just say they're not balanced, so you have more charge in one battery than you do the other. Well, using that menu option, you can set it up so that. Um, it's going to take power from one, it's going to balance your batteries for you. So it'll take power from one battery, transfer it over to the other one and balance the batteries for you. Kind of clever. You can also see that on this theme here, we do have an animation going on as well. I think that's the only theme that does have that animation. It's not for me, but some people do like that kind of stuff. Now, those of you that know me, I'm not a Joule 18650 200 watt vapor. Never have been, never will be. Uh, but I will say that I have, and, and I've said this in the past, I really do like the Aegis mods as beater mods, as when I'm out and about in the garden, working in the car, things like that. It's the kind of mod I like to have with me because if you drop it, then it just keeps on ticking. Uh, I'm not going to take out some fancy stab wood squonker uh, to get beaten about. Uh, no, I keep my nice things nice. I'm not saying this isn't nice, but it does take a kick in. As you saw in that little video at the, near the start of this review, it did take a kick in. It did keep working. And even though my biggest concern about this mod was having this big screen, which I like. I like having this big screen. It's good for me. My eyes are just, my eyesight's getting worse and worse every day. So for me, yes. I like that. I like the fact I can actually see it in the daylight as well, which is another thumbs up compared to some of the old Aegis mods. And me personally, I like this mod. There's things I don't like. Uh, it's a kit, so it comes with that tank. Is it the Cerberus? I've, I've not shown you the Cerberus or talked about it or anything because quite frankly, I'm, I'm disappointed that they've included this bottom airflow one they've just released a new tank that went out with the last legend was top airflow and brilliant top airflow doesn't leak really really good it's a brand new tank this Cerberus is when I filled it when I first got it it leaked it just pff, deposited liquid everywhere um, and the second time I did it it did the same thing again uh, if you're going to do this my advice is close off the airflow, fill her up, put the lid back on. I just leave it sitting upside down for a few minutes and then take a couple of slow pulls through it. Um, the flavor from the coil is, I'm not good, I think it's 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 mesh coil. Uh, the flavor is it's 60 watts, 63.3 watts. It's not bad. Actually, it's in, it's in keeping with most other mesh coils out there just now. Uh, the flavour is actually quite good. Uh, other things, the manual that comes with this, and it's very vapory, cloudy in here. Uh, the manual that comes with it is is guff, rubbish, pish, no good. Uh, I actually had to contact GeekVape to find out what the AAB, the, the battery transfer thing was, because it's not in the manual. Uh, the auto thing at the top, I, I don't actually know what auto is for. Uh, the reset, um, I don't know what it resets, Does it? because every time I hit reset in that menu system, nothing seems to happen. Um, so there's things in the manual, I mean, I'm a professional reviewer, you can trust me. Um, I, I look at a lot of mods and if I can't figure it out, after having hundreds and hundreds of mods through my hands, then what hope is some kind of newbie vapor got?
Not that a newbie vapor should be buying a 200 watt dual 18650 mod. And yes, once again, I know people will be getting their knickers in a twist because it's not a dual 21700. It's not. Deal with it. Uh, ultimately, I, I would say if you have a legend or something like that, uh, a dual 18650 Geek Vape Aegis. This, this might not be for you. I, w I don't see any reason in upgrading unless you want that big ass screen. And that's the only reason for upgrading is if you want that screen. This isn't doing anything else that any other... The one thing I do like, I will, and I'm pointing, the one thing I do like is that this is... Oh God, I've forgotten. This is about 176 grams. No batteries in it. Was that about 176? It's a lot lighter, considering, you know, the size of the screen and everything, but it is lighter than the old Legend, which I like. I like that fact. It's not as cumbersome. Um, also, it's quite comfortable to hold in the hand, um, and, and that is about it. I think they screwed up, including that tank. I hate the manual. Everything else about it, I personally really like. I like the upgraded door. Uh, I've had issues with old Aegis doors in the past, the, but this one just opens and closes, clicks into place, no issues at all. It takes a beating. Yes, the screen is thrown about, is is, is going to get scuffed up. Um, I'm just going to knife. I'm just going to try something. Yeah. Taking the point of a knife and running it down there, it it is marking it up. I would expect it to. I don't think it's Gorilla Glass or, or anything like that, uh, but it's it's doing the job. Uh, and that's it from me. And the Aegis X. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'm sure there's lots of other reviews out for this. Um, go and watch them before you buy anything. As always, don't just go on my opinion alone. Thank you to Geek Vape for sending this on and uh, the fancy... Did I show you the case this came in? I can't remember. Hang on. Um, it's, it's just... Look, look. I don't think yours is going to come in this case, but that's how mine came. Um, how awesome is that? Uh, anyway, I, I'm not sure what the packaging will be like for yours, but um, I'm special. Uh, thank you so, so much. We'll catch you very soon. Bye for now.